The first study of a pendulum can be traced back to 1582 by Italian scientist Galileo Galilei. He was walking down the Pisa Cathedral when he noticed a swinging chandelier on the ceiling. The motion of this chandelier would inspire ideas that would revolutionize science at the time. Time, the scientist thought of a pendulum swinging in a flawless pattern. The same pattern would become properties that define the movement of the, the pendulum. However, they do not apply when another pendulum is attached to the other end of the first pendulum. So. What differentiate the behavior of double pendulums to singular pendulums? In order to understand the differences, a simulation is needed to observe the behavior of the double pendulum. For this simulation, two equations must be used. Double pendulums utilize kinetic and potential energies for force. Hence, Lagrange equation is used in this simulation rather than Newton's second law. Euler Lagrange uses the derivative of Lagrange to develop the motion equation which would simu simulate a double pendulum. Having understood the properties of the double pendulum, a simulation can be made. So the, fir the first one here, we are going to make the simulation. So first one, there are three programming languages that we will use to create our simulation. The first one is HTML. An HTML interface is used for displaying the simulation and the input boxes for pendulum properties. And the second programming language, we have CSS. It is used to establish the borders for input boxes, which make it easier to insert the properties. And the last one, JavaScript. The Euler Lagrange equations can be inserted into JavaScript, and then we can run simulations of the double pendulum to verify that the equations are correct and find out the movement of a double pendulum. Now that we have a simulation, we can now observe the behavior of the double pendulum. To learn the behavior of the double pendulum, several key factors must be considered. There are two things we have to look out for during the experiment. The linear movement that the double pendulum does before becoming chaotic, and the duration of the simulation before the pendulums disappear. It would be difficult for us to analyze the movement without a base starting point. For this study, both starting angles would be of the same value and in the multiples of 15. For the mass and length of the rods, we will be using the ratio from 10 to 1 to the ratio of 10 to 10. By rationalizing the mass and length, we were able to collect the total linear movement and the duration of the simulation more efficient and effective. The results. Crashes may occur when the simulation becomes too unstable and chaotic. The simulation will stop if the movement of a double pendulum becomes too fast and unstable. This graph right here shows the duration of the simulation in the time with respect to the starting angles. Then a conclusion can be made. The bigger the starting angle, the more chaotic the double pendulum's movement will be, and thus, less linear movements can be found. According to the data collected here, simulations with lower starting degrees take up more time to end the simulation as they have to build up force until its movements become chaotic and unstable, ending the simulation. Thank you.